Well, today, this message today is an important message, I feel, that um, I need to speak about as uh, the duty we have as Christians to speak life to one another, and that is for us to speak life to our fellow brethren, all our fellows around us, and our neighbours. I believe that as Christians, we have a duty to, to be doing this, and I believe that is the will of God for our life. I'm going to read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I believe Jesus said this, if I'm correct. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? So what I believe this was in reference to was, I believe that this was in reference to like worldly Christians who were indulging themselves in like envying and gossiping and slandering and arguing and arguing over doctrines and one thing and another. I believe that this is also in reference to um, worldly people as well. And what basically what he's basically saying is they are not regenerated yet. And regenerated is when it's like when we receive a new heart and a new mind of Christ, like the regenerated heart. You know, we, we, we no longer have this heart of stone that we used to have. Our, that's gone and been replaced with a, a heart which is full of the love of Jesus Christ. And also um, we have the new mind of Christ. OK, so that's how we have our new have our born again experience and we become regenerated and um, obviously that then gives us the fruits of the spirit because once we have our born again experience of becoming a born again Christians, we should notice that the fruits of the spirit are then operational. Like we should notice things like we're becoming more immediately, like more loving, more kind, uh, more patient. The fruits of the spirit should start to be working within our lives. I mean, I'm not saying that we can go from here to here within one day. But I believe it's like a process that takes like um, weeks and months, if not years, for us to grow spiritually and to become stronger in the fruits of the Spirit. And those fruits of the Spirit, like love, like patience, like, um, you know, long-suffering and, and kindness, all these things should become more and more as we grow in Christ. So basically, he's saying they're not regenerated yet, okay? Because where he says, like, um, you know, um, are ye not carnal and walk as men? You know, your 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 people are behaving still like you're in carnality, like you know, still in the flesh. Anyway, I believe we become peaceful and kind and loving to our to others with our words and actions once we've become regenerated so therefore there can be no envying and gossiping and slandering and arguing because that's not that's not to do with the fruits of the spirit i'm going to quote from the book of proverbs chapter 15 verse 4, 14 to 19 an honest witness tells the truth but a false witness tells lies the words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So we can see that it is very, very important to God for us to speak good things and healing words to all who are around us, like to speak life to people around us. That That is to speak words, healing words, okay? Now, what I want to say, people is it's not that difficult to, to be kind to people, okay? It's not that difficult to speak kind words to people. It's not, okay? And if you people, especially Christians, will consider there's a lot of suffering and a lot of people are, are suffering, you know, a lot of people are suffering with depression, with loneliness, and there's a lot of people who need to hear healing words of hope, which come from the Bible, you know, which come from the gospel. The gospel message is a message of hope. And there's a lot of people that need to hear those healing words, you know. And, you know, be kind to people. You know, this this message is important today. Today I feel like, just I say this, be kind to people. You know, how can we, as born-again Christians, how can we speak words to people, wicked words to people, that we know are going to tear them down, you know. I mean, obviously... Wicked people and evil people that practice witchcraft, you know, like wizards and witches and all that, 
some of them are really they're really into it and they use a lot of words a lot of words certain cursed words are already charged with supernatural powers but they're there's a lot of words that are used in witchcraft but they use these words have been charged with supernatural powers from the dark side and you know they can speak these words like they're throwing darts they're throwing fiery darts you know to penetrate people to you know to attack and their words are like weapons you understand and this is very wicked and that's very cruel you know there's a lot of people that end up suicidal there's a lot of people that end up having a nervous breakdown and cracking up because of all this sort of thing you know and that is wicked if if people are doing that to cause like mothers and fathers who've got children that they need to care for you know and they've got a family who love them i'm saying to you people it's not that difficult to be kind okay we need we need to do this if we are doing the will of god then we will speak life and we will speak healing words to all around us whether it be fellow brethren fellows or your neighbors friends and family it doesn't matter who they are okay we need to be doing the will of god at all times and that is to speak healing words to people and if we don't do this if we refuse to do this then i believe then then we are not doing the will of god if we refuse to speak life to people okay the next uh, uh, verse i want to read is john 6 verse 6 to 3 it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life but there are some of you that believe not so people who are carnal who speak from their carnal nature and they speak words of carnality envy gossips maliciousness slander and all this sort of things their words count for nothing because it says here the flesh profiteth nothing and their evil words are being driven from their superficial ego of trying to be superior over one another you know and in opposition and, and at rivalry with one another and because they speak words of death and they speak words of death to their brethren and fellows and all or whomever they will see death because they speak death to others okay and those who speak healing words to their brethren and they speak words full of the spirit of life and because they were they speak words of the spirit of life they will see life because they speak life to others okay you'll have to excuse me because i've got a bit of a cold today so excuse me please and they said that jesus said that words are spirit okay jesus said words are spirit and we have to be very careful how we speak and the words we use okay because it also says in scripture that god shall condemn those wicked and evil tongues okay they shall be condemned okay so this indicates to me that people who are deliberately speaking curses and cursed and wicked words like i say to anyone knowingly because a lot of the time a lot of these people are witches wizards sorcery and they're doing sorcery and these words have been charged up with supernatural powers but supernatural powers that have come from the dark side okay and then they use them like darts to you know fiery darts to throw at people in in order to tear them down okay well that is wicked that is really wicked people anybody that does that and um they are in danger of the judgment and the condemnation of god okay and they know what they are saying they know what they're doing and saying so speak life people okay be kind to others remember that what people are suffering and going through there's a lot of people who need help okay there's a lot of people who are really suffering who haven't ha who haven't been born again for example i I've, I've been born again into the spirit and since becoming born again into the spirit god has actually healed me from a lot of the wicked words that have been spoken into my life and the holy spirit is healing me day by day by day so thank god i've come to the knowledge but not everybody's come to the knowledge of christ they haven't even got the hope of the gospel so they need help and um, us christians are supposed to be there to help others who have been wounded and damaged by all these wicked words okay it's really serious people so be kind and speak kind words to others okay did you know that you can actually heal people 
by speaking life into them. Did you know that words how words can bring healing? Okay, words can bring healing. I'm going to quote from Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. So grace means gift, you know, we may help people to find Christ for real, who are, who are going through all sorts of darkness, okay? Romans 14, verse 19. So then, let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. 1 Corinthians 14, 26. What then, brothers, when you come together, each one has a hymn, a lesson, a revelation, a tongue, or an, or an interpretation. Let all things be done for building up. Hebrews 3.13 But exhort one another every day as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Romans 15 verse 1 to 11 We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbour for his good, to build him up. For Christ did not please himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. For whatever, for whatever was written in former days was written for our instructions, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus. Ephesians 4, 11-16 and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves, and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ. And 1 Peter 2, 1 to 25. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation. If indeed you have fast, if you have tasted that the Lord is good, as you come to him, a living stone, rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious, you yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. And Ephesians 4.16 from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow, so that it builds itself up in love. And Ephesians 4.12, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. So didn't Jesus Christ say in scripture, didn't Jesus Christ say, be perfect? Yes, he did. He said, be perfect. And that also means... Be perfect also means to grow up. Well, isn't it a perfect thing to do to build others up? You know, isn't that, and, and to speak kind words and words of encouragement and, and healing words to others around you? I mean, isn't that a perfect thing to do? And also to speak kind words to others around you, which has the ability to heal people, okay? Actually, Kurt, kind words spoken to people has the ability to heal them it's they the words can be healing okay so isn't that a perfect thing to do okay and 1 peter 3 verse 8 to 10 for whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech that's all i want to say at the moment about this topic today but I believe that it's very important for us who call ourselves Christians to be serious about this because all this gossiping and slander and 
well, you know, we can't be doing that. How can we, who call ourselves Christians, then start being wicked to other people? How can we? If, we, if we've got the love of Christ in us, how we can't do it. That's not possible. And anyway, I just have a song here that I want to put on. Uh, I believe this man is a Christian, and it's a wonderful song about speaking life. And I just want to put this on. Some days life feels perfect, other days just ain't working. Put that right the ball, everything in between. It's crazy, amazing, we can do all the words we say. Mountains crumble with every step, oh, how can they die? Big guys, big guys. There's darkest nights, big bad, big bad. Someone shining, I don't know why. Look into the eyes of the broken heart. Doesn't come alive as soon as you speak. Oh, you speak loud, you speak. Thank you. 